By popular demand, I'm bringing Japan back and today we're going to be continuing our run and playing toll as the Japanese nation, building up a massive economy in the process and modernizing our nation to its full potential. If you enjoy the content, consider subscribing so you don't miss out on awesome runs like this one. Before we do anything, of course, I'm going to be uh, giving a rundown of our current situation since uh, I've made that a very popular thing on my channel as of late and I think you guys enjoy it, so let's go through it. Now, our politics right here are not really the best we have a little bit of a stalemate I'm gonna have to uh, reform my government right now unfortunately the fact that our leader is a traditionalist landowner is really screwing over with us so let's check what our heir is like he's a royalist samurai actually you know what I might just uh, get rid of him abdicate the throne in order to do that we just need to get rid of the uh, landowner so that's not really that hard to do okay before we go there let's uh, see our legislation we have agrarianism we got rid of traditionalism we have protectionism as well so we can trade with the rest of the world we still have closed borders so that's something we need to work on we got freedom of conscience appointed bureaucrats we have some type of schools not the best one but some type and we have homesteading as well so the main issues for us right now will have to be getting a proper voting system enacted to help us out with modernizing our nation we're also going to need to get some home affairs some health system open up the borders and maybe even switch from a great to interventionalism or less affair would be amazing if we managed to get our hands on that also obviously per capita taxation should be a priority everybody wants it except the landowners so let's do something here let's get rid of the landowners and let's get temporarily somebody that uh, would give us a little bit of a support nobody does that apparently okay the Henin seems to be getting us a little bit exit this and now we can abdicate the throne amazing we can also get one populate one percent of the population become more loyalist as consequence so we got Kome as our new emperor that means we can get the uh, samurai in charge boom shakalaka we went up to 44 unacceptable government but better than before and that means we might be able to go for uh, per capita taxation we attempted recently and failed to get per capita taxation so we have to wait another 17 months before we try again unfortunately but we could at the same time go for national guard no you know what i'm gonna wait i'm gonna wait it out a little bit then leave it as it is for the time being and i'll show you guys my economic situation right now we have a few consumption taxes taxes mostly taxes that affect the upper and middle strata not the lower strata we are on medium taxation we're not producing that much we do have issues with the fact that we have a lot of uh, costs for our government administration buildings and for our paper is pretty high that being said if we go here our balances we have paper shortage grocery shortage wood shortage few other shortages nothing major but because we have an open market now we can import some of the stuff that we're missing out on so it's really not the end of the world anymore our industry industry is definitely lacking but we're gonna work on improving it of course and I'm also going to uh, switch over fully switch over for that matter to a iron frame building industry that is gonna tank my economy initially because we don't have that many um, tools and we don't have that many iron available we're gonna have 1.1k shortage of iron so before we switch to this I'm just gonna start queuing up a few more iron mines I should have done this a while back I kind of just delayed it for longer than I should have delayed it honestly so also go ahead and make sure that those uh, iron mines are going to be at the top of the queue here I'm going to cancel some of these cotton plantations and I'm going to set the rest of the farms and everything behind the um, iron mines that we desperately need in order to start modernizing our country right there we go actually screw it man I'm going to make these uh, iron mines first and then we'll do the steel mills and the motor industries right after I do need the steel mill because I'm going to start switching my uh, tooling workshop to steel tools which in turn means I'm going to use less iron and that iron can be used to build stuff in exchange thus growing the value of both steel and iron and just not crashing my economy also so a lot of different wins right there okay we have a lot of lead shortage because we're not producing any so we're gonna import a little bit of lead for the time being and then after we import this we're gonna get some more lead from um, other areas we're gonna need to use our declared interest to uh, be able to trade with more nations so let's go let's trade with the Russians with the Prussians and the French if we have a declared interest we open up the ability to import trade goods from these nations within these particular regions so keep that in mind sometimes you might be wondering why i can only trade with a few nations around probably because you don't have uh, declared interest so you don't have an area where you can technically communicate with the other empires our army is only five chad lords over here and i'm going to keep it as that for now we're not going to do any wars anytime soon we'll start with some wars in africa after we've uh, switched over to the full iron frame building mechanics or better yet industry and we've um, got 
gotten a better economy going since 100,000 on medium taxation is really not great. We really need to get capital per capita taxation also to uh, boost up our nation. Tech wise, we're researching central banking and we got the central archives queued up right after. Uh, we could also do nationalism. Actually, nationalism would be really quick to research. Let's go for that now and central banking right after with psychiatry is not too bad also since we get the bureaucracy reduction from population cost. So that would give us back at least 300 bureaucratic points, I'm assuming. And we're going to queue up a lot of these bad boys here and we need more universities. So let's queue up a few universities right after the uh, iron mines finish building. Let's say another five for now. Get some wood if possible, some more lead from the Spanish, only one piece of lead. Nah, that's not worth it. We do have a trade agreement with the British right now. So importing from them costs us literally zero bureaucracy. That's the benefit of having a trade agreement with the nation. You don't waste a lot of bureaucracy from uh, importing stuff from that particular nation. All right, that was pretty quick. We got the uh, nationalism research. Military railways, an excellent corroboration between the industry and the military. One railway in Kanto. Um, do I need one? Do I need one? We get 10 legitimacy if we deny it. I'll need legitimacy badly, so I'm going to go for the legitimacy. Thank you very much. We owe an obligation to the French or we get technology spread for society. I, I, yes, yes, please. We need technology spread for society badly. Okay, now that we got the other interests around the world, we can probably import from the French and the Prussians some lead as well. Our own lead production should be ramping up now. We have one lead mine, if I'm not mistaken, right? We do. And it's gaining the population to get the lead. So we're going to need to boost this up at least to level two. Let's put it at the top of the queue here. And then we're going to add an extra two more later down the line to be uh, built as well. Since we got the extra legitimacy, we were able to get the petite bourgeoisie in. So we can attempt to get colonial exploitation. The uh, peasants are not really happy with this, but we do have some support from the industrialists and from the uh, petite bourgeoisie. So with a little bit of luck, we managed to pass colonial exploitation, which will mean that we'll be able to start colonizing the central bits of Africa to get those rubber plantations going for the mid game. And let's continue with the uh, colonization of Sakhalin. I'm not sure why this stopped and why I didn't continue. I think I just forgot about it, really. And colonization is done. Unfortunately, <laughs> we seem to have a bit of a revolution brewing. The uh, peasants would like us to preserve frontier colonization. So I'm going to have a small little civil war over the issue of being able to colonize other nations, apparently. I'm going to need to pause as, uh, my construction sectors a little bit. Otherwise, I'm going to tank my economy completely with this uh, particular rebellion happening right now. Can I believe I'm literally fighting over the dumbest thing ever? Like, actually ever. Hopefully, this is going to make some changes in our government, though. So afterwards, we're going to have a bigger grasp on our legit legitimacy. There you go. More interest group of traction. Amazing. Now, quickly, boys. Quickly, quickly. Push and take all these lands before they actually recruit any conscripts. As expected, pretty quick with uh, destroying them. Our economy is super tanking, unfortunately, now. So uh, we need this war to finish ASAP so we can fix our stuff here, please. Thank you very much. I wish it was so that, you know, as soon as you uh, captured all the provinces of the rebellion, they instantly give up. You know what I mean? And what the fuck just happened? What is going on? Here? Oh, my. Oh my god oh my god 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 my economy is so bad right now holy mother okay it's recovering it's recovering we're we're good we're good boys it's actually recovering takes a little bit of time of course but it's recovering make sure we have the right production methods because a lot of the stuff got reset when um the rebellion happened hopefully they didn't delete much stuff also oh my god dude what why is this stuff on picks and shovels holy mother okay okay buddy jesus christ the ai can really not handle a lot of things in this game can it good thing we checked that imagine if we didn't check that freaking thing. All right, we're getting back there. Missing just another 10,000 from what we had prior to the Civil War. Oh, let's check our legislation and stuff. So we got 59 with these guys. Uh, we could potentially get up to 65 if we get in the uh, Shinto monk. So let's go for that. And we're definitely going to be able to pass the uh, colonial exploitation, which is great news, actually. We also seem to have some support for cultural exclusion. Okay, do we really have that many other cultures except Japanese? No, we just have like a handful of Ainu, Han, and that's it, really. I've also been really trying to get the uh, British to let me in their customs union, but they don't seem to want me in, so I'm just gonna go ahead and I'm gonna join the Russians for the time being. This should help out a little bit, fixing our economy and building up our GDP. Let's go soil and enrichment. Let's see what the market's looking like now. So we have massive shortages of tools, semi big shortages of iron, groceries, wood. Yeah, this is not so bad. We can actually work with this. We definitely can work with that. And would you look at that, boys? Canonial exploitation. That's good because now we can switch over to uh, per capita taxation. Look at the endorsement. 43% endorsement, just 20% uh, reduction because the landowners are not cool with it. But we got a success chance of 25%. Now, I also want to address something because a lot of people I've seen asking in the comments
comment section why is it that your legislation says 45 percent or whatever and then when you click it it only says 25 percent that's because the success chance is determined by the endorsement of the interest groups that want this legislation to pass so because the samurai and the bourgeoisie have 9.6 and 15.7 respectively when it comes to their uh, clout there you go 9.6 15.7 that adds up to the success chance of this legislation passing and then every single tick which is in our case in 100 days one tick we get a chance of either advancing to consideration increasing the success chance or lowering the success chance based on the events that we get that's basically how it works with legislation and yes we're making big bucks now because we've joined the uh, russian market we're actually able to properly boost up our economy we're going to take advantage of the russian market for a little while and once we have enough uh, industrial capability of our own we just leave the market and we just compete with the russian market as a consequence right oh and the percentage of chance that we have for success is the success of going to the next phase essentially so we have 47 percent chance right now to go to consideration phase and then afterwards adoption and uh, passing the legislation there you go it did pass the consideration that is actually pretty freaking good how much would we be uh, getting from this two duck two thousand duck it's not much but don't let that fool you even though it only says two thousand duck it's actually be a little bit it's going to be a little bit more after we pass it it's also one of those legislations that really scales up with the, how your economic growth is as well so we're gonna need one railway here we have one queued up maybe i can just get a port for now that's gonna be five infrastructure no no i'm gonna get the railway i'm gonna get the railway let's see where is the railway let's bring it to the top of the queue oh actually it's uh, already being built in kanto by the private investment pool all right that's fair also take note a lot of the times even if you might get success chance increase from the events that you get once the tick happens the uh events themselves might carry some pretty nasty debuffs so for example here there's a chance that we, if we uh, click this option here we get 25 percent of the lower strata in the kanto become more radicalized that is a big problem right there alternatively we can get minus 10 percent success chance for sure but we increase the standard of living for the lowest strata in kanto as well as the tax weight so it's up to you i'm gonna i'm gonna gamble there you go i gambled and i gained 10 percent success chance could have been bad but it went good so it's fine exactly my point we actually gained six thousand and that's just the initial phase after passing this legislation it's gonna get more as we progress not many legislations that we can pass now i could attempt migration control there's very little opposition for it from the peasants and a lot of support for it from the industrialists the petit bourgeoisie that petit bourgeoisie only has 13 percent cloud so that means this only starts with 13 percent success chance but let's see if we manage to pass that we do one of our journal entries for the Kome restoration so that would be really nice to uh, get a little bit of advancement on right speaking of we need to have level five urban centers in all of our states or 70 percent of our states for another one so let's see level four level three level eight level seven three three five okay so we can get chubu very easy and tohoku very easily upgraded we just need a couple more buildings in both of these states here gonna queue up three of these uh, lead mines in uh, tohoku because we need a lot of lead actually for our market and i'm gonna increase the cost of iron by switching to the barbed wire fence i thought i did this before i'm not sure how i didn't do it already but okay and speaking of we're gonna need more grain and uh, a lot more meat as well as stuff that the livestock ranches produce so i'm gonna queue up a few of them not a priority however definitely not a priority the uh, lead mines are for sure more of a priority as are the textile mills to boost up our income essentially we managed to go to consideration phase but we got to be careful because we have one setback on migration control if we get three setbacks then the legislation itself cancels itself out so we got to start from scratch afterwards okay we went to adoption that is the fastest i've ever seen migration control pass so quickly what the snap uh one more thing i want to do is i want to actually uh, modernize my nation and i want to build up a military fleet so let's get a military shipyard queued up as well uh, i'm gonna queue it up in kyushu the reason for this is because i want to start uh, attacking some nations that are easy pickings right now before anybody else gets involved right and we don't have any infamy we haven't had any infamy this whole playthrough because we've been playing it really chill but we're still playing toll even if we'd get a few colonies here and there right hello migration control we did and sakoku successfully so we are three quarters of the way sorry one quarter of the way wait wait no it's th one 33 percent of the way towards getting uh the Komei restoration i guess right i'm really bad with maths probably might have noticed this if you watch my videos we unlocked our first company via technology and we have a few options here some of them are really great uh especially from an economic perspective some of them are amazing like uh the kyushu mineral consensus or the kanto mineral syndicate these are really great but i'm actually gonna go for mitsui which is an actual japanese company even today mitsui owns a lot of japan because they offer political strength for the industrialists plus 20 percent i need this political strength so i can put the industrialists in my government because right now if i was to put the industrialists in my government i would only get 29 government 
right? I need at least 30%. Once I have them in the government, I can change over to wealth voting or landed voting, which means we get a vote system in and we can start moving away from the imperial system and we can actually reform our country a lot faster, right? Also, economically speaking, we are making a little bit of uh, progress here. We're building some more universities to reach our innovativeness uh, cap and we're building more furniture, tooling workshops, etc. Buildings that would give us more money as consequence. We do need more basic industry stuff. I'm kind of relying on the Russians for the time being for that particular bit. But once we have, say, at least um, this queue finished, we can start building afterwards some rice farms and so on. So now we have a maximum of 134 innovation and we already have that reached. And as such, whatever we have from universities left just spills over in the technological spread. You can see here one from unspent innovation that is from the extra universities that we got. Right now we got all of our universities in the one state in Kanto. That's because remember when you have more of the same type of building built in one state, you get a throughput bonus. So from the 25 universities that we have here, we get a 20% throughput bonus. That's because it's capped at 20. We don't have the technology to get another 10%. We're researching it now though. So once we got the mechanized workshops, we're going to get an extra 5% or better yet 4% for the unis with the maximum of up to plus 10% more. And then later, once we do shift work, another 20% more, eventually we can get 50% extra throughput bonus from having 51 of the same buildings built in the same state. Also, let's check our situation. We have a lot of tool shortages. Fertilizer, we're building fertilizers now actually. Grocery shops, paper, coal. All right, so I'm going to be spamming a few more of these uh, tooling workshops. Let's say 10 of them in Kanto. And let's bring them up to the top of the queue. We don't need the government administration stuff. We need the tooling workshops there. We need the fertilizers. Sulfur mine, not a priority, but we might as well just get it because uh, locally we don't have that much sulfur production. And it would help us out a little bit more if we get that sulfur production locally rather than having to get it from the Russian market itself. I'm not sure what the fuck is going on, but my country's dying. So I got zero access to the Russian market. And I thought it would go away if it's a bug. I reloaded the game. It's still happening. They're not at war. They don't have anything blockaded. I cannot explain it. I have no freaking clue. And it was fun in games for the first four months. But now I'm stuck at minus 67,000 and I'm building up half a mil credit for nothing. What the fuck is going on here, man? Like, did they lose all of their ships instantly? What the, actually, what the hell is going on? I, I, I cannot explain this. What the fuck, man? Come on, fix this. All right. So because of the Russian market crash, I don't know what's up I, somehow they don't have the ships i left the market so now i'm gonna have to fix my economy manually it means we have to spam a lot of iron mines i kind of screwed myself in the process if we were a part of the russian market for at least two more years we would have been up to 40 g 40 million gdp because of it but it's fine uh that being said i'm gonna do a little bit of a government reform here i'm gonna change and i'm gonna put the industrialists in i'm gonna do what i was talking about earlier which is attempt to get one of these legislations passed now landed voting has the least opposition so we don't get a revolt if we get wealth voting, that would be perfect, but it's likely that we might get a revolt from this, or at the very least, we might piss off people. So I'm a little bit torn between the two. I will attempt wealth voting first. If it doesn't go through, then I will try and go for landed voting afterwards. We do have 21% success chance for this though, so that is actually amazing. It means we have a pretty decent chance of passing this uh, particular legislation. Also, I want to take a little bit of a look around the world, so let's see what we got here. We got the Americans and the Mexicans fighting each other, and the US is actually pretty well well unified right now. In South America, Peru, Bolivia is Chadicus Maximus, Argentina, Chile, pretty much haven't done anything since the start. Nothing changed in Africa. Europe also, we don't have the Germans formed, but to Sicily is starting to uh, unify Italy. They already got uh, Tuscany, they got uh, what is this, Modena or something, and uh, Romania also formed. They got the Basarabia from the event with the Russians. Ottomans got back their lands, and that is literally it. I was gonna build up my fleet and uh, start colonizing, well, attacking Arabia in uh, Africa. I'm still going to do it, but it's going to take me at least three years more now because I have to build up my uh, mines. Look at this. We got 700 reduction on metal. I queued up nine uh, uh, iron mines, but it's going to take a while to get those done. So until that's done, we have to uh, push through and get a lot of credit in the process. Pushing for this legislation is likely going to bring us into another revolution, but sadly, it is literally the only way we can actually fix our country and uh, improve our country. So if they want to revolt, let them revolt come at me bruh come at me so the problem now is that whatever we decide to go for here either one of these options is going to trigger the um the civil war because we reach the 100 threshold with it so it is what it is <laughs> 
time to fight yet another freaking civil war. Let's go ahead and pause all of this before we completely crush our economy and let's get our army ready for battle. Get a general as well, uh, the samurai guy. There you go. We literally almost fixed our mineral deficit and now we went up with being just a one province miner, bro. Okay, time to reconstruct our nation for the third freaking time. We got uh, also a filing cabinet, so that's going to help us out a little bit. We're going to go for the identification document, which is going to offer us 4.5k progress for this technology. Let's see what that technology is looking like. It is four years away from getting completed. That's not too bad, actually. Let's also go for Queen 9, which is going to help us with uh, colonizing the African continent a little bit faster. And did they just delete my universities or what the fuck happened? Why am I a one th What? Hold on a second. Hold on a second. Do I not have 25 universities? I do. Oh, I see. It's uh, probably because of the shortage of paper that we've got. Okay. We need to reset these uh, production methods here first and foremost. And we're going to need some more coal mines for that matter before we do the uh, tooling workshops. Hey, we got adoption phase for wealth voting. The first good news we've got in a while right there. And we got the secondary company. So that's going to be really juicy there. We're losing prosperity on this, obviously, because our country has been freaking decimated. But we're going to get back to prosperity soon enough not to worry. Now, I'm going to go for the bureaucracy. So the Kansai Paper Syndicate. The reason for that is because I need to start increasing my educational level uh, for the institutions. I'm still on level one. We need to get level three so we can actually get one of the events to pop so we can increase our technology a little bit faster as well. All right, there we go. We're slowly getting back at it. No more massive debuffs. Almost back to 200,000. All right, we're getting pretty pretty quickly recovering from that war. Not, not as bad as I expected it to be, to be fair. Would be awesome if we actually managed to pass this with 52% success chance. I mean, to be fair, that is pretty high success chance, right? And once we get wealth voting, um, we're going to be able to pass some of the legislation that we really actually need. There you go, boys. There you freaking go. I like that we have the modern Japanese flag now. That is actually amazing. And we got a university in Chubu. Okay, I'll take it. Why not? All right, so let's see. Now that we've got that, let's um, let's wait for the elections to happen. Once the elections happen, which is going to be in 178 days, whatever is going to be the leading party is going to determine where our nation is going to be heading toward. Now, that right now might seem to be like uh, the agrarian party. Holy shit, they got 71% projected vote. That's actually actually insane what the f that's actually insane <laughs> all right well we'll do what the what the peasants want us to do in that case i guess well the first democratic election in japan resulted with the agrarian party getting 69.9 percent of the votes as expected holy mother bro okay so if we just get these guys and the intelligentsia and the government we'd be pretty well off i'm gonna keep the industrialists for now because we're going for racial segregation and then afterwards uh we might get um the uh, intelligentsia and so get so we can get some other legislation passed as well that being said we're doing pretty a-okay financially so i think i might actually start building some more construction sectors maybe max out the one in tohoku i don't want to push it too quickly though i'll build up a few more buildings beforehand maybe some tooling workshops and some of the dye plantations and we got 20 percent enactment chance for that okay cool so we're up to 60 percent for racial segregation that's pretty juicy okay we can switch to paper bleaching it's gonna increase the cost of dye right now dye is pretty high up we already queued up 10 dye plantation so let's uh, bring these dye plantations a little bit to the top of the queue in that case so after these are done we can switch the production method to the one that includes uh the uh, dye resources which is really fast to build as well i mean look at that if we bring it to the top only six weeks to build dye plantations is super quick heck i might just do it now uh boom that's going to require some dye and we've got it and this was going to require some dye and we've got it and we got an agitator for poor laws how about no how about you just uh um, go away. Yeah, that's right. Looks like our wood balance is starting to go down. So we're going to need to uh, build up some more logging camps once more. Hell yeah, buddy. Racial segregation. That's what it's about. Let's see. So we've got a lot more cultures in our country now because we've been colonizing and because we've got some migrants, but not that many migrants. Don't get too excited. Uh, these guys might start a secession. Okay, that is not good. That is actually not good. Are they accepted though? They are still discriminated. Only Han are accepted right now out of all the other cultures so we really need to get better legislation maybe cultural exclusion would be nice sadly only the intelligentsia would be on board with that right now so let's actually get the intelligentsia in the government and let's see what we have we actually would be able to go for this uh do i want to go for it just yet though uh would be nice the chances of this passing though very slim considering that the main political party would oppose it so i don't really want to waste my time with it also you know that's also a part of the situation there. I would love to go for right of assembly and we have some support for that from uh, the intelligentsia 11% whilst everybody else hates it but 
not hates it enough to rebel against us. So that's an important uh, distinction right there. If we pass right of assembly, then right afterwards, we can switch over to uh, the guaranteed liberties for our internal security. We haven't done the pol secret police just yet, but um, we might in the future if we don't get the right of assembly, maybe. Oh man, if we had uh, secret police, we could arrange for this guy to have an accident. Fortunately, we cannot exile him right now because he's part of the samurai group. So that's very, very bad. With the new patch, whenever you have someone that essentially has a similar ideology to your ruler you cannot exile them anymore so yeah also hold on a second i'm a little bit confused is this the same guy because it doesn't look like the same guy to me oh all right we got general staff so we can do another one of our um journal entries there you go general training and that should do the second let's check journal entry rise retire the samurai 25 percent less than 25 percent of eligible formations is irregulars oh shit i forgot to upgrade them my bad there you go. upgrade to infantry and we can do some more legislations now reinforce concrete sounds good to me as does shift work do i actually have anything that's above level 30 though i don't think i do so i don't need to prioritize shift work then oh actually rotary valve engines is going to be my main one so i can uh, upgrade my mines to produce even more all right well the age of the bakufu is done now we've got uh, just one last journal entry industrialized japan so let's see we got this at level five i think right yeah level six level 19 urban center level five level 10 level seven level 4 level 11 so i guess this is the only one we need to upgrade to level 5 maybe hokkaido as well but probably not and then we got the uh, last journal entry done let's check what percentage is this on it is at 50 percent oh no we actually need uh hokkaido as well actually yeah oh great news guys we've actually surpassed the americans now we got 2 million more gdp than them and we're about to surpass the austrians in a few years i guess a couple of years max sadly it's time for a short secessionist break in good old freaking vicky 3 fashion you got a secession every few years because why not right good news though we did get right of assembly so let's check what we're gonna go for next guarantee liberties would be amazing man if we pass this then we would get revolution secession process reduction we would get radicals decrease from standard of living decrease and uh, loyalists increase from increasing the standard of living so our country would just be a much better place it is going to cost us 300 bureaucracy so we're going to need to build some government administration buildings we haven't built those in quite some time to be fair so we really need to anyway election results looks like the agrarians are losing a lot of uh, their strength they're only down to 40 percent of the votes down from 70 percent with the last election so we might see them getting replaced soon enough it looks like the industrialists are making a lot of leeway though so we might have to um finish doing the legislations that we're trying to do now so we can get some industrial focused legislations afterward let's see what the industrialists would actually like for that matter less fair is one that i would love to see the industrialists pass as is no migration control so we get a lot of people into our country public schools they're neutral towards which is better than no schools right or better yet than religious schools for that matter as well since religious schools offers the extra political strength for the uh, clergy and we just got guaranteed liberties which means we need to get those government administration buildings asap in our country as well uh let's keep the general training let's get these in here one and in kansai one i think is enough let's check our budget let's check we're getting unrealized taxes mostly in kanto and kansai so yeah that's the right way and i got level five urban center in shikoku now i just need to get a railway in shikoku and one in shubu because despite this being level six we don't have a railway so these are the two requirements once we've got that we have the uh, industrialized japan restoration journal entry done and we can do the komei restoration fully i'm curious if they changed anything in this particular patch with it so let's see what happens right holy shit we have a hundred percent success chance to pass the uh <laughs> elected bureaucrats holy mother okay that's gonna be uh that's gonna help us out because uh, it's gonna lower the uh, bureaucracy need uh, from population so we're gonna be able to get like four or five hundred bureaucracy back as consequence i researched all of the stuff that was required uh, for the uh, second tier of the social researches so now i'm gonna speed up and i'm gonna get identification documents mutual funds so we can switch over to the publicly traded production method for most of our uh industry i'm also gonna get steel frame buildings and just try and get as much as these techs as possible we have 146 but we can get up to 150 maximum so i'm gonna just build up a couple more universities as well whilst i'm at it now and guess what boys we've overtaken the austrians we're about to overtake the french and then the russians very soon because we are starting to properly ramp up our production and my game just crashed what the fuck actually what the fuck i'm gonna take that crash as a sign that uh i should finish this part here and until the next time check out this amazing video up next and i want to give a massive thank you to all of my patrons channel members and twitch subscribers i would not be able to do this without all your support 